Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to create a glass material in Unity's high definition enter pipeline. So without wasting a time, let's get started. Alright, for this scene I'm going to use this Unity's ray tracing demo scene. However, I have completely disabled ray tracing for this scene. As you can see, it is not using ray tracing anymore. And I have also baked the lighting for this scene. This scene also applied a basic post processing and a basic reflection probe to capture the reflection inside the scene. Okay, so that's a quick introduction of the scene. Let's create our glass material. I go to material folder, right click, create, material. I call this glass and enable this sphere. This is a default unity sphere and apply this material to this sphere. All right, let's tweak the parameters and make it look like a glass. First, go to the surface type and change from opaque to transparent because glass is a transparent object. Then keeping this option default, Go to the base map and set the color to black and also decrease the alpha value to zero. Then keep the metallic to zero and increase the smoothness to really high, something like 0.95. And now you see it is immediately looking like a glass object. Here I want to tell you that this reflection I'm getting on this sphere object is because of this reflection probe. You can see. So if you're following me and not getting this kind of a smooth reflection, then make sure to bake a reflection probe first. Okay, so let's go back to our glass material. In lit material, there are three types of refraction model, box, spare and thin. We'll look at them one by one. Let's first look at this box refraction model. And you see immediately it's looking more like a glass objects. The edges are now looking much more natural and receiving reflection from this environment. This index of refraction value control the refraction of this object. Different objects have different kinds of refraction value. You can find a list of refraction value on internet. For instance, glass has an index of refraction close to 1.5. So I set it to 1.5. This thickness parameter control the thickness of this object. For instance, let's say if you want to make it look like a solid glass object, then you can control the thickness from this parameter. But right now it's not doing anything because first we need to apply it a color. For instance, let's set the color to red and now you can see we can control the thickness of this sphere. But for this scenario, we don't need it. So let's reset them back. The next refraction model is sphere, but I want to show you the thin first. So the thin is basically same like box model. You can control the refraction from this parameter and you can also change the transmission color from this parameter. Pretty simple. Let's finally look at this sphere parameter, which we're going to use in this scenario. Now our sphere is looking like a thick glass object and we are getting some strong distortion in this sphere. So let's go back to material and see how we can control this effect. If you decrease this index of refraction, so let's set it to 1 and now we are getting a thin glass object. So I slightly increase this value so that I get small amount of distortion around the edges. Let's also set the color to slightly bluish, just a little bit. If I zoom out. Now we can control this thickness effect from this absorption distance. So for example, if I set it to zero, now our sphere is looking fully colored. This transmission absorption distance is basically the distance in meters from the camera, how far you want to see this effect. So I set this to 0 0.005. Okay, so now it's looking much better. And from this distance, it's also looking good. Let's also take a look at this distortion option. This option are basically further control the distortion effect. For example, this distortion scale offset this distortion effect. It may be useful in some other situation, but right now we don't need it. So let's set it to one. The only option I'm concerned is this blur remapping. This is basically helpful in simulating a frosted glass effect. All you need to do is just move the slider. And now you can control the blurriness of refraction of this object. And this effect also applied to the distortion. For instance, if I increase the index of refraction and now you can see the blurriness effect is also applied to the distortion. But for in this situation, I, we don't need it. So I reset them back and I also disable this distortion option. Let's take a look at one more important parameter. If you notice a bubble, then you will find this colorful reflecting effect, especially around these edges. This effect is called iridescence. So let's see how we can simulate this effect in unity. To simulate that effect, go to material type from a standard to change to iridescence. 
and now you can immediately see some colorful effect on the edges of the sphere and it also gives you two parameters to control the effect this iridescence mask is to control how strong you want this effect and this layer thickness option is used to control the fall of our reflection from edges to the center like this and now our sphere is looking like a perfect glass here i want to mention one more thing if you are using this double sided option then make sure to keep this depth that option enabled otherwise your refraction will not look correct actually there are few more parameters used to control transparent effect i highly encourage you to play with this parameter and achieve the result you want finally i want to show you a post effect that is used for transparent object so if you go to the global volume where i have applied all the post processing effect and from this add override button add this screen space refraction and now if i increase the distance we can get some real time screen space refractions on this object you see this chair is now refracted in this object so that's how you can create glass material in hd render pipeline for more videos about hdrp please give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel so that you get instant notification about my next video you can always ask me your queries in comment section or join my discord server link is given in the description I would also like to thank all the patrons who supported this month especially Hanna Sinkonan, Dimidu, Anton Konoplyanchenko and Nicholas Gennady Korta. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.